Wow, so we're at Wild Reef again for an awesome night dive. You guys are definitely gonna watch till the end. This was an insane dive, and I'm pretty sure five, four or five brand new species for our book. You guys are gonna wanna watch this. Yeah, we keep coming back to Wild Reef as long as it's giving us critters, new ones on every single day, we'll come back until there's no more. Yeah, and I think <laughs> we went to a whole different area this time, at least in the end, and lots of species I never even knew existed, so this is gonna be a good one. Tonight we're heading down to Zambagita to try out our go-to night diving site at Wild Reef. But I thought I would show you for this first clip a real-time shot of these little nudies that I find. They can be really hard to film. There's a lot of current, a lot of grass making shadows, and it's not the easiest to film, even a big one like this. It's worth the effort because this is a new species for the book. One that we haven't filmed or seen before. Pretty strange looking dude though. So since this is Wild Reef and there's so many critters here, you're definitely going to see a lot of nudie break in this video. Like this guy. This guy is a new species for us. We've seen some similar ones. It's a Thuridilla species, but this one is a completely different color. It's pretty cool. As usual, right now it's plankton season, so there's a lot of krill and baby shrimp and plankton attracted to our lights and making it hard to film. These of course are not nudibranch, these are flatworms. Not really related even though they have a lot of similarities, such as habitat and behaviors. Although flatworms are cool, they're not sea slugs and not even related like I said, but despite that, we will have some in our book, just kind of as uh, after mention. And here's a brand new species we've never seen before. It's a sea hare species, but one that is very unique, one that I didn't even know existed. It's very cryptic, very hard to see. I don't know how our guides found it, but this one is awesome. It blended in perfect with this little soft coral he was on. Nearby on some reef, there was this little slipper lobster. A really cool little dude. I like filming these guys because you don't see them that often.
This guy was probably about almost two inches long and pretty cute if you ask me. This juvenile batfish is one that photographers love to find. They'll spend all night trying to get the perfect shot. Especially at night when the whole thing looks black except for its orange outlines and makes for an incredible shot. Now in this video I shot every clip in real time. I didn't use slow motion like I do on most of my videos. I just wanted to show you what it's like to zoom in and out, show your different sizes, everything like that, and how difficult some of these are to shoot. Especially when the floor is covered in reef and you can't sit down anywhere, you can't touch anything, it can be pretty difficult. And even more so if there's any kind of current. Just look at the lines on this shrimp. It's really cool. It's kind of like a psychedelic shrimp. And you only see these guys at night. They are definitely nocturnal. Day or night, you'll always see a robust ghost pipe fish in Darwin. These guys are everywhere, and they're all unique, all different colors and textures, trying to blend in to hide from their predators. Isn't it amazing how many different colors and shapes that Ludibrank come in? This little gray white nudie was pretty cryptic on its own. It blended in perfectly with the sand. I think if it wasn't moving, we probably wouldn't have seen it. It wasn't too small as far as nudies go. It was maybe an inch long, but it was a really awesome pattern. And of course, I'm gonna film that. This guy amazes me because it's a nudibrank, but just recently we saw flatworms with the exact same coloration and patterns. Of course, flatworms don't have those naked gills in the back, or the scientific term, butt feathers, and they don't have the rhinophores up front. But it was the same exact pattern, so it was pretty cool to see a nudie version. So guys, this is called a sundial snail, and it's the most unique snail I think I've ever seen. It lays on its side. It doesn't slither straight up and down like normal snails do. It lays on its side and crawls, as you can see in this video. It's awesome. I've seen these guys everywhere and just kind of ignored them until I recently saw a video about them. So I had to start filming them because these guys are so unique. Have you guys ever seen a sundial snail like this? I 
I've seen these all over the ocean in previous dives, and I always just thought they were the tops of other seashells. I never thought they were a whole shell until now. It's pretty cool. So I showed you a robust ghost pipe fish earlier. Well, here's an ornate ghost pipe fish. Pretty similar, but a little bit different species, and you can see why. And here's an awesome pleurobrank. A really cool dude that they don't have the butt feathers in the back but they're still a sea slug and a super colorful one as well with great patterns Yes, this is a common nudie that we normally ignore, but look at this. It's got a emperor shrimp riding on its back. So this is unique footage that I've never got before. I've never seen an emperor shrimp taking a free ride on a little nudie. Now this emperor shrimp is not too happy about all the plankton I've brought to him that are attracted by my lights, but the little nudie doesn't seem to care. Or, well, maybe he knows the emperor shrimp's there, there's just nothing he can do. It's not like he has fingers and can flick him off his back. And then I had to write the sign for Finn, like, what the heck is this? It's a huge nudie. This guy was as big as a dinner plate and one that I haven't seen before. There's so much plankton in the water right now that I had to set up other lights just to attract him so that I could hurry up and get my shots without so many plankton in the screen. But look how big this is. I thought it was a stingray for a second. Even his skin looks rough like a stingray. His body pattern looks like one of those Rorschach charts, and it's definitely one we've never seen before. I'm glad we get to put this one in the book. You guys have seen plenty of crinoid shrimp on this channel. They live in all the little sea stars around. And this one is a white one, probably the most common that we see. Of course, like any hermit crab, these guys will find an empty snail shell and take it for themselves. So while that, I wasn't even going to film an episode today, I just wanted to relax and dive, see if we could see anything new. But I had to, I had to get out the camera because that was an insane dive. We saw Shout so out much. to Alex, yeah, our main yeah. man. Our main yeah. critter finder. The uh, second best in Darwin, <laughs> according to some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But 
That was how many how many loose loonies do you think we found? He's the number one, by the way, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we found two new species <laughs> that we haven't put in the book yet, uh, but countless of nudies yeah. on this day. That's oh, so yeah. good, and then we saw those huge red. Plural breaks or polybranchia. whatever you call them. Polybranchia. Polybranchia. Gorgeous. Different colors than we've seen before. You yeah. said they're like brownish. You were yeah. filming the one and then I was like, oh, come over here. It's Blue red. Blue one or red, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, such a good dive. And then a Cersei. It must be a Cersei season. We're seeing them every day. Yeah. Every dive now. Oh, some cool shrimp too. Uh, I, I, I got to look at the footage to see what ones we even got because I can't even remember. There's so much. Such an awesome 80 minute dive. Uh, Alex, do you have any idea? Remember the orange one, the tiny, tiny one you, you showed us? Yeah. That, that I only uh, spent some time on? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, Lodge Brands. Yeah. Do you remember which one it was? What type? Uh, it's not a CRC, right? It's a. Uh, no, no, not this. I've never seen so that I one. So I see before. it in filming it and book. I couldn't even yeah. see yeah. it. Not the, not the CRC, but. Uh, this one I don't think is in the book. No, I think. And yeah, I saw you filming it, and I couldn't even see it. I was like, ah, yeah. screw it, I'm not even going to try. And then there was another one next to you, so I sat there filming that. But so that was... Imagine this guy, sorry, spending like 20, 25 minutes just filming one guy. He's so small. You can't even see it with your naked eye. I don't know. I can't <laughs> even describe how tiny it was. Yeah. Like my pinky fingernail, it's like a third that size. Yeah, I, don't I couldn't even see it with my naked eye. I could just see an orange spot, like a like a period on a typewriter sentence. So we found all the good stuff at 20 meters, so we have limited time down there. And I spent most of it just with that one guy, trying to get something, because I know he's not in the book. We've never seen it, so I wanted to capture something cool. Oh, yeah. Such an amazing dive. Yeah. Cersei was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, everything. We're definitely going to have come back tomorrow, so... Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one. Yeah. Oh, what can you say about Yeah, don't forget to su subscribe. <laughs> oh, that was that. <laughs> like, that was that. What's this? <laughs> like, tumbling, up tumbling. Up <laughs> 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 no tumbling, tumbling. No tumbling, tumbling.